<laughs> we have two games. Tiny Epic Quest. Alright, and Five Minute Dungeon. And we are going to open both really quickly, hopefully within five minutes as well. I only have so much space on my phone. <laughs> Alright. That's the crap. See what this looks like in this weirdly shaped box. Alright, 5 minute dungeon. Well, I already know how to play this, but here it is. For anybody that wants to pause and look at the instructions. Right, there you go. What's in the dungeon, not what's in the box. Right, so, there we go. So, 5 minute dungeon, real quick summary. It's a game about a bunch of different bosses that are at the bottom of a dungeon that you have. Wonderful, funny names like a freaking dragon. That is a boss. Baby Barbarian. That's a favorite. You have a bunch of minions that you attach onto said dungeon. And then every player gets to choose a character. Each one is double sided. Ninja, a thief, Barbarian, or a Gladiator. It's a dude, I think. Huntress, <laughs> Ranger, I think each one is like a dude and a girl, Paladin, Valkyrie, yep, that seems to be the thing, Sorceress, and Wizard, and depending on who you choose is which deck you get, and that's how you play, you plop down different actions depending on what the enemy is that you're fighting, so this guy requires two swords to beat, so it's whoever has two swords or different people who have in combination <laughs> two swords. So it's a teamwork game. So if this was the first enemy that you faced, you know, one guy would be like, I have a sword, and then somebody else would be, ah, coincidentally, they'll be like, alright, I have a sword too, and then that gets rid of that enemy, and then you move on to the next enemy. It's a very fast paced game, and you try to do everything within five minutes. If you don't reach the bottom of the deck and defeat the boss within five minutes, you all lose. So, cooperation makes it happen. Cooperation, working together. And, <laughs> and that is Five Minute Dungeon in a nutshell. I'm looking forward to that. It seems like it will be really fun to play. Tiny Epic Quest, I have no idea how to play it. Well, almost no idea. It just looked cool and it got rated pretty highly. How much time we have there already? How much time passed? Three. Three minutes? Yeah. Cool. Let's try to make it like under five minutes to fit the theme. Tiny Epic Quest. Everybody likes this because you get a massive game in a tiny box. Let's see what it looks like. Very colorful. Like, mmm. Mmm, like old video game manual. It's great. It's delicious. It's art. Looks like Zelda, but it's not because copyright infringement. And you get... <laughs> Keisha is going to love these things though. Like when I saw this game, right? You could equip like tiny swords and stuff. Oops, <laughs> sorry. You could equip like tiny swords and items. Yep. To these people. We have little shields. There's like... <laughs> Is real blown away. <laughs> yep, there's like a tiny yes. Here it is. There is a tiny little item rack that you put the items on before <laughs> that you take them to equip them onto your thing. It's it's pretty awesome. So I look forward into I look forward to seeing how this plays out. It's supposed to be good. It got highly rated. A lot of people seem to like it. Um, supposed to take about a 45 minutes to an hour, so I made sure to buy one fast game. Fast, one slow game. Slow. Epic. Okay, so tiny epic quest, and the board for it is actually made up of, I would assume, these cards, maybe, possibly. But if you saw in the booklet, you have like a 
pack of cards and you rearrange them to make your board so the board is actually like different each time because it's fluid so it's cool anyway that's it first random unboxing i was gian bell for scholar squadron hobbies and yeah have fun